John Schmier is a full-time driver for Lyft, Uber, and Wings. In his four years as a driver, he has about 10,000 rides under his belt. And for most of those, he says his passengers choose to buckle up. Typically, most people get in and they put on their seatbelt. It's not really usually an issue. But sometimes it is. I mean, I've had people who refuse to wear a seatbelt. And again, I don't have time to sit and argue. I, you know, I mean... It's getting harder and harder to make a living as an Uber or Lyft driver, and I just need to just need to push through and get them done. John says it's really up to the passenger to make their own decision when it comes to wearing a seatbelt. It's your decision. You get your own ticket. Um, I wear my seatbelt. It's kind of up to you. Oregon state law backs that up. If you're 16 or older, it's your responsibility to wear a seatbelt. Because if you're not wearing one as a passenger, you could get a ticket, not the driver. For people under 16, it is then the driver's responsibility to make sure they're buckled up. So for John, he says he can only do so much to get people to follow the law. I can't force you to, and I can't cancel rides. You know, I mean, if I cancel too many rides, I have the risk of deactivation. Again, last night's crash that killed an Uber passenger who wasn't wearing a seatbelt was not the fault of the Uber driver. Police say it was caused by a man who was intoxicated, speeding, and driving a stolen truck. And when John and I talked about this, he even pointed out there's no excuse for drunk driving because it is so easy to call an Uber or Lyft instead.